One of the best things about spring is that it's warm enough to keep all the windows open and let in some fresh air. The quality of sleep improves significantly in the fresh room air. It's wonderful to wake up in the morning to the singing of the birds. The best things in life are the simple little things. Nature blossoms and all the scents have come out strongly. Spring started this year on March 26th, when the temperature rose overnight. At the moment the temperature is 22 to 25 degrees Celsius during the day, and the lowest at night is 15 to 17 degrees. It's nice and warm, but not too hot. Nature is flourishing, and it's still green everywhere. The days are long and bright. There are clouds, and usually some rain. Except now. It hasn't rained in a long time. I can't even remember the last time it rained. I wish it would rain. A warm spring rain. It's really nice and warm here. The sun, of course, is quite hot, but at the same time there's a lovely cool breeze from the north. Feels really good. I also like that I can get my summer clothes. The skirts and shirts and shorts and dresses. It's a really lovely weather here. At the moment we have plenty of sunlight, so no problem with the electricity and Plenty of hot water. I have noticed that I have more energy now. I don't need as much sleep either. It's time to do some spring cleaning, which will continue for me all spring. That is until summer vacation, almost to the end of June. After that, it gets really hot here. And that's when I do only the necessary housework. I have to go through all the clothes. There's always more laundry to be done in the spring. I'm also going to mop the floors and organize things and scrape the mold of the walls. And then there are painting projects outside. And washing windows and so on. No matter how much you work, there will always be more work to do. But little by little, they are sorted in order of importance. And sometimes based on what I feel like doing or depending on the weather. Ticks have also appeared. There are a lot of them in the tall grass here in the country. We are used to them. I've been bitten by a tick several times and already once this spring. We do daily checks. A tick must be attached for at least 24 hours to spread diseases, if it happens to be a carrier of the disease. 90% of the ticks are not. It's, a, it's good to monitor the bite if a round circle forms around it, then to get some antibiotics. Our dogs, they have been given anti-tick medicines. I found peas, wild peas in our backyard. We have already flies, not too much, but some. We don't have mosquitoes yet. Uh, this year, let's see if we're going to have a lot of bees or a lot of flies. Usually, when there, if there's a lot of bees, they, the flies, they go away and the bees, they take over. I'm not sure which one I prefer because the flies, they get inside the house. The bees, they don't. But I am afraid of the bees because they, they sting me many times. They are little, very little bees. They are quite aggressive. They like the meat. If I have uh, bones for the dogs, they are attracted to the meat. And so are the green flies. There are green flies here in the country. I haven't seen them in the villages or in, in Rolders town, but we do have them here in the country. And the green flies, they, um, you can get diseases through food. So if you see a green fly on your plate, stop eating your meal. You will not mistake a green fly to a normal black fly. They are very obviously green and they are a little bit bigger. 
I've had sometimes a green fly inside the house. What I do is that I just uh, take away all the foodware, plates and glasses and knives and forks and, and wash them and make sure that nothing goes into the mouth after the fly has been inside the house. Our fruit trees are still alive, even they are very young after their first winter here since planting. This is the lemon tree. Here is the pomegranate. Nice new leaves. Doing really well. I'm not really surprised about these trees the citrus trees and the pomegranate because they actually succeed very well in this area. Here we have three different kinds of oranges, mandarin and kumquat and the lemon tree. But what was a really nice surprise I'm going to show you now. This is the apricot tree. It's still alive and gave new leaves. That was a really nice surprise. I wasn't sure about these three trees here. This is the peach tree. It's the only one that hasn't given any flowers or leaves, but it has buds. So maybe later, let's see and wait. I do believe it's still alive. And here, is the plum. Beautiful flowers. I'm really happy for these. I have already, already given them a lot of water because it's pretty hot here. Now that spring has started, I have a craving for Greek salad. The tomatoes are already really sweet. The cucumbers and paprikas too. I also feel like eating fruits and yogurt. In winter when it's cold, I don't really like to eat cold food. The Greek Independence Day was uh, March 25th and it was a very cold day. I remember it was the Independence Day parade in the village arranged by the school. Uh, the students were marching through the village and I remember it was very cold north wind. I had my winter jacket on, I put my hood on and the next day the temperature went up to 27 degrees. It was like the winter turned into summer overnight and the winter jacket changed to a summer dress. Now the temperature has even out a bit. It's normal like 22 to 23 degrees of Celsius here at the moment. It's nice and warm. But it happened very suddenly this year, the change from cold to to warm. So there was the independence parade and I had to buy my son uh, a costume for that, a suit, a white uh, shirt with uh, um, blue pants and a blue vest. And uh, the previous Friday, this was on Monday, and the previous Friday they had a school play, independence day school play and for that, I had to, I had instructions that I needed to buy for my son, a traditional costume from the 19th century for the school play. And before that was Friday, Halloween, one week before, I had to go and buy him a Halloween costume. I'm sure I will find some other use for these costumes in the future too. Here in Greece at the moment, there is a Lent uh, that's before Easter. 
it lasts for seven weeks and people are fasting for this some people are fasting for these seven weeks when they don't eat any animal products so it's a vegan diet also olive oil is uh, forbidden but you're allowed to eat olives most of the people they do not fast and some people they fast only the last week and then the Easter Sunday uh, for the Orthodox is the 5th of May and that's the day when people grill huge amounts of meat <laughs> barbecue party the first uh, tourists they come in here in April and it's really funny to see because the people from the cold climate they experience the warmth in a different way than the people who live here uh, and this you can see that the tourists are walking on the on the streets on the sidewalks with bikinis on and at the same time you see that the locals they have long sleeves jeans maybe jacket on also here in the country the the temperature are temperatures are more warm compared to for example in the uh, Rodos um, the north of Rodos in the Eli beach which is very windy place there's cold north wind I remember one time I went to visit my family there in a hotel and I left with my shorts and my my little shirt on and when I got there I was so cold that I had to borrow clothes from other people so the temperature are not always the same everywhere in the island even we do live in the northern coast with the north wind this is all I have for today I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching see you on the next video until then bye bye